Sky Brown surfs, skateboards, dances, and hopes to be the youngest Olympian ever in the Tokyo Games in 2020. And get this, she's only 10 years old. Born in Miyazaki, Japan, to a British father and Japanese mother, Sky wants to skateboard in the upcoming Olympics. Not only would this be her first Olympics, if she qualifies, but this is the first time that skateboarding will be an official Olympic sport. Though she still needs to qualify for the Olympics, Sky doesn't let the barriers bother her. She told the BBC this in an interview. I'm tiny, but I'm being in like this huge like competition. You can do anything no matter what age you are. I think that girls can do whatever boys can do. Why does boy get to have all the fun? Before she could even walk, Sky was wanting to skateboard. At first, her dad didn't want her to be anywhere near a skateboard. He told the Daily Mail, quote, You have a little girl and you want to wrap her in cotton wool. But it was the one toy she kept going back to. Sky travels the world as the youngest pro skateboarder and surfer, competing in numerous competitions and regularly beating people who are older than her. By seven years old, she was pulling off tricks no other woman has pulled off and got her first sponsorship deal. At the age of eight years old, she was the youngest person ever to compete in the Vans US Open, a series of competitions from skateboarding, surfing, and BMX. Though Sky didn't take home a medal, she placed higher than women who were 20 years older than her. Sky's talents have also gotten her to appear on Dancing with the Stars Juniors, winning the Mirrorball Trophy with her partner JT Church. She's also become Nike's youngest signing athlete. There are giant posters of her skating appearing in stores across the United States. She also appeared in one of the more recent campaigns featuring icons in women's sports alongside gymnast Simone Biles, soccer player Alex Morgan, and many more. With the exposure she has gotten in the media, she has used her publicity to help others who are less fortunate. While visiting Cambodia with her parents, she was inspired to help kids her age without access to clean water and education. While she was hanging out and teaching kids how to skateboard, it did not make sense to Sky why they lived in extreme poverty. She knew that she had to help these kids and make a difference in their lives. She has been partnering with companies where the proceeds help less fortunate kids around the world. With the help of board manufacturer Almost Skateboards and charity partner Skatistan, Sky designed a special skateboard. The nonprofit empowers children through skateboarding and education. The profits of the sales go to fund skate schools for underprivileged children in poorer areas of the world. The sales have reached over $17,000 so far. She has not only made her own skateboard, but she has also reached out to Pride Socks with her ideas through a sock campaign called Sky's the Limit. When purchasing these socks, $5 goes to ISF, the Indochina Starfish Foundation, which helps kids out of poverty and into classrooms. With the Olympics coming up within this next year, Sky had to make a choice between her two different nationalities. Despite still being based in Japan, she chose to represent Great Britain. Here's what she told the BBC about her choice. No pressure, just have fun and get out there. And I feel like that's the way I kind of skate. Like, the most important bit is to just have fun and enjoy it. So that's why I chose England. It makes you think, what can't this girl do? Sky is an inspiration to women and young girls all over the world. Her positivity, motivation, and ability to push boundaries have made her worthy of being her generation's icon.